risk of malignancy index or RMI is a reliable tool in differentiating benign from malignant adnexal masses. Who introduced it first? The RMI was first described by Jacobs in 1990 and has since evolved into RMI2, RMI3 and RMI4. To date, only RMI1 and RMI2 have been sufficiently validated. Which RMI should be used? The RMI1 is the most utilized, widely available and validated effective triaging system for women with suspected ovarian cancer. Although RMI1 score with a threshold of 200 has got sensitivity of 78% and specificity of 87% is recommended to predict the likelihood of ovarian cancer and to plan the further management, some centers utilize an equally acceptable threshold of 250 with a lower sensitivity of 70% but higher specificity of 90%. CT of the abdomen and pelvis should be performed for all postmenopausal women with ovarian cyst who have RMI 1 score of greater than or equal to 200 with onward referral to gynecological oncology multidisciplinary team. The RMI is simple to use and reproducible but its utility is negatively affected in the postmenopausal women. This is primarily because of the incidence of endometrioma, borderline ovarian tumor, non-epithelial ovarian tumor and other pathologies increasing the level of CA125 in this group. A systematic review of diagnostic study concluded that the RMI1 was the most effective for women with suspected ovarian malignancy. The NICE guideline on ovarian cancer recommends that for the woman with suspected ovarian malignancy, the RMI1 score should be calculated and used to guide the woman's management. How to calculate RMI1? RMI1 combines three pre-surgical features, CA125, menopausal status and ultrasound score. The RMI is a product of the ultrasound scan score, the menopausal status and CA125 which you can see in this formula. The ultrasound result is scored one point for each of the characteristics like multilocular cysts, solid areas, metastasis, ascites and bilateral lesions. U is 0 for ultrasound score of 0, U is 1 for ultrasound score of 1 and U is 3 for ultrasound score of 2 to 5 depending upon the features which I told you. The menopausal status is scored as 1 for premenopausal and 3 for postmenopausal. CA125 is measured in international unit per ml and can vary between 0 to hundreds or even thousands of units. RMI score of 200 in the detection of ovarian malignancy has found to have the sensitivity of 78% and specificity of 87%. Is there another way to estimate accurately the risk of malignancy in premenopausal women without utilizing the CA125? There are simple ultrasound rules derived from IOTA group. The use of specific ultrasound morphological findings without CA125 has shown to have high sensitivity, specificity and likelihood ratio. If not clearly classifiable from these rules, further investigation by specialist gynecological ultrasound is appropriate. The IOTA group has published the largest study to date investigating the use of ultrasound in differentiating benign and malignant ovarian masses. These B and M rules are used by the IOTA groups. Using these rules, the reported sensitivity was 95%, specificity 91%, positive likelihood ratio of 10.37 and negative likelihood ratio of 0.06. Now this table shows the IOTA group ultrasound rules to classify masses as benign B rule or malignant M rules. We will discuss IOTA group in another video. Women with ovarian mass with any of the M rule ultrasound findings should be referred to gynecological oncologist. Now, what is the best way to estimate the risk of malignancy? At present, the RMI scoring is the most widely used model. But the ultrasound rules derived from IOTA group have found to have increased sensitivity and specificity. 
The simple rules have recently been externally validated in 1983 for the women from 19 uh, ultrasound centers in eight countries. An estimation of the risk of malignancy is essential in the assessment of ovarian mass. Estimation of malignancy risk has been assessed using over 80 different models, which include the simple model, intermediate model, and the advanced model. What is the effect of the age on the risk of malignancy? The risk of ovarian mal malignancy increases by threefold after the age of 50 years. Now, women with RMI of less than 25 have low risk of developing ovarian cancer of less than 3%. Women with RMI of 25 to 250 have moderate risk of developing ovarian cancer of 20%. And women with RMI score of more than 250 have high risk of developing ovarian cancer that is about 75%. For any query related to this topic of RMI, uh, feel free to write in the comment section of this video. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini and follow our Facebook page of on Ops and Gaini.